A majority of people in India have been using Ayurveda for thousands of years to improve health and well-being. Ayurveda helps in not just curing but also preventing most diseases and ailments. According to Ayurveda, the balance of the doshas is the mantra to a healthy lifestyle. Medicinal herbs are high on nutrition and are cost-effective alternatives to drugs that are sold over the counter. We have already told you all about the kapha body type. Now, let's learn about the herbs that can be used to keep the dosha balanced. With earth and water being the most dominant elements of the kapha dosha, it is what governs Kapha and help in keeping that dosha balanced. Turmeric, scientific name Curcuma longa, more commonly known as Haldi, has a pungent, bitter, and astringent taste, is one of the most potent Ayurvedic herbs, has a heating effect on the body which is important to balance the Kapha dosha, helps in detoxifying the body, protects the liver, has a soothing effect on the digestive system, has powerful anti inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Trifala has the taste of sweet, sour, bitter, pungent, as well as an astringent. Has a heating and cooling effect on the body and mind. Tri means three and phala means fruits, the combination of three fruits. Consists of amalaki, bibittaki and haritaki. The fruits are dried and then ground into a powder form with precise measurements. Cleanses and detoxifies the body. Nourishes the bones which can be very dry in people with an aggravated kapha. Also nourishes the reproductive organs. Strengthens the immune system. Ginger Scientific name Zingiber officinale has a pungent taste according to Ayurveda, has a heating effect on the body, has anti-inflammatory pythonutrients called gingerols, improves digestion, helps getting rid of nausea, helps in curing colds and flu which kapha people are prone to, helps stabilize metabolism. Aggravated kapha personality people need not worry if they include these herbs in their meals on a regular basis. These herbs will surely balance the dosha in you.